He took Abby to JC Penney's but told her she couldn't go on the bed. So she sat like this in protest because how could anyone expect her to lay on the floor like a dog? Then Cleo and Abby got a treat, but Abby has horrible coordination and she just yeeted it across the room and we all saw it happen. Cleo sat next to her and was touching her for too long. Abby's dad tucked Cleo in for a nap and didn't tuck Abby in. Cleo was causing a ruckus and didn't even ask Abby if she wanted to be a part of it. Abby, in fact, did not want to be a part of it at all. We didn't pick Abby's movie for family movie night, and she questions why she even stays at our house anymore. Like She feels like she, maybe she should just like go somewhere else because this is terrible.